Welcome back in 3HL on 104.5 The Zone, broadcasting live from SEC Media Days. Thanks to our friends at newbreaks.com, nubreaks.com, mobile brake repair. Check them out. Georgia running through the gauntlet today, and we've got a rather large man sitting at the table, and I'm not talking about Ron Slay. I'm talking about Jordan <laughs> Davis, uh, who plays no tackle for Georgia. Jordan, what's up, man? How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Thank you for having I, me. I got I to gotta start with the shoes. We're going to have to take a picture, bro. Those those oh. are phenomenal. Where would you get those? Uh, I got them as a gift. I think my mom got them for me, so, you know. Uh, How, you got to describe them. We're on radio. Oh, there, I these, mean, these are red Gucci shoes, uh, the Gucci Aces, I believe. And I paired him with my lucky socks. I always wear these during game day. Watch hey, out for Slay. He's, he's got a Gucci bag. They might go well with that thing. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice. <laughs> lucky <laughs> socks. Okay. What? Is, so how do you wear those during game day? you got to show us those. Oh, just like these. You wear them under yeah. regular socks? Oh, no, 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 no. I just wear them dog walk. Dog walk before pregame. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Them. All right. There you go. They're shoe talk. Important fashion stuff, talk. right. It's hey, fa <laughs> fashion's important at SEC Media Days for people that don't know, man. Without uh, question. So, 6'6", 330, you always been a big guy or did you grow late? Uh, I, would, I would say I was more of a, you know, even killed or elementary school. And Just then, gradually. Yeah, it started getting bigger in middle school and, you know, high school. But So, when you were younger, what positions did you play? Uh, I played fullback. Fullback? Fullback and defense. You know, I was always a defensive tackle, but I played fullback and uh, – I think I scored one touchdown. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think yeah. that needs to get in the offensive system this year, man. I was going to say, yeah. tell Kirby, man. Saying, you know. Are you available to carry the rock into the end zone? I definitely am. Anytime <laughs> they need me, I got them. I don't think as an offensive lineman I want you coming up my backside, though. <laughs> I don't know. So, you, say, you listed at 330. I know you practiced in the spring. I think you were kind of more towards the 350. What What's your comfortable playing weight, and where are you? Uh, right now I'm 345, but – um. Comfortable, I would say, in the 40s, 30s. Um, but, yeah, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get down to where I'm at right now. So, from where I am, I'm just trying to keep chopping and get lower. You feel the difference in, in your movement and everything when you drop? Definitely. Every, yeah. every pound matters. Yeah, and that's one question. thing I failed to realize when I was younger. But as I'm getting older, I need to start, you know, practicing like a pro and starting considering myself and carrying myself as a pro. So, that's what I'm trying to do. So, do you do something special diet-wise? Or uh, you just kind of watch it in general? Nah, I watch it in general, but uh, in the mornings, I try to have a juice cleanse. Um, yeah. I beetroot, carrots, oranges, ah. apples, kale, just everything. <laughs> like, I literally come out of the kitchen, my hands are stained because it's like all types of fruits <laughs> I'm messing with. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. Like, all the stuff, like, I normally don't eat fruit. I normally don't eat vegetables, but... Just I throw it in there and I just drink it, chug it, and you know it might seem nasty, but it's what I need. So what's the weakness, food wise? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you Sweets, have? A, you have a hard time staying away from it. Look, I'm wings. a I'm a candy person. Oh, I love wow. wings too, though. Hey. I'm a candy person. It's this oh it's this nerds cluster bites. It tastes like the nerds roast, but it's in the you. little cluster bite. The shoes I, the I love those. Yes. Yeah, so, hey, let me ask you this. What made you <laughs> stop playing basketball is what I'm trying to figure out. Because I know you was back at hooping. You was holding down the paint. You was in the boom, boom room. What made you get out the boom, boom room, man? Look, I'm always a hooper at heart. But I knew I knew, football was going to take me a lot longer and yeah. a lot farther than basketball would. So I was like, you know, I got to make that transition. But, you know, if anybody, if any of my they teammates want to, you, you know, want to <laughs> go one-on-one, -on -one, I'm always down for it. So <laughs> I love it. Talk about your, uh, your time in high school real quick, Mallard Creek, man. Y'all a powerhouse. Um, Y'all girls basketball team doing really well right now. You still stay in touch with everybody there? Yeah, I try to stay in touch with the people I play with and the coaches that I play with. They all split up apart. Um, we have my head coach is in Alpharetta right now, so, um, you know, one day I'll try to make a visit to them. Just try to visit the coaches when I go back home. But, you know, everybody's in their respective places. But, you know, it's you know it's always that love yeah. and, you know, that connection that we had at Mallard Creek no yeah. matter where they go. So okay. that's one thing that I carry with pride. A lot of expectations for this football team coming in. You know, I think that is usually the standard every year, which is, is what makes the program great. But there is a lot of talk that, oh, it, it feels different this year. Does it feel different this year when people talk about these expectations? It's definitely a different feel. Um, you know, that's one of the big reasons why we said unfinished business. Because we knew going into the last season and going into this season that it was going to be something. It was a different feeling. And, um, you know, I feel like, you know, the second half of the season, that's when we started picking up and started gaining our traction. But, yeah. 
you know, definitely we want to start this season off with a bang and we want to end this season with a bang and we want to carry all that intensity throughout the season. So, you know, we don't want to have any drop off. But definitely we have lofty goals and we intend to reach them. How cool is it to open with Clemson? Very cool. I yeah. mean, you know it's there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. but is it cool? I mean, would you rather open with, like, just juggernaut, like, go all out, or would you rather open Cupcake? No. Nah, I would rather have it just just how it is, exactly yeah. how it is. Um, you know, Clemson is a great program, great team, yeah. and we're definitely excited to play them. Um, we actually have somebody from Mallet Creek that played for Clemson. So oh, yeah? Yeah, there that's definitely, like, one of those games that our coaches will be watching. Uh-huh. And, uh, <laughs> Bragging rights on the last. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's definitely bragging rights when it comes to stuff like that. But um, you know, it's just one of those games. You know, you gotta win it. You gotta, you gotta have it. You want to go one and zero each week. But you know, Clemson is gonna definitely be a big test, and you know, we're ready to go, go at them. And how did it play for you in the in the uh, spring and things like that? You know, because you got a target that you want to meet. You know, what better competition than to play a team like Clemson, and you get to focus on them to get ready and riled up and right. hit the weights and everything. How'd that play for you guys in the spring? Well, you, you know, we don't really pay attention to that mm -hmm. uh, until it gets later on in the season, right. you know, around camp time and stuff like that. We're just really focusing on ourselves, honestly. Okay. And, um, yeah, we just focus on ourselves and everything will fall into place, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's just one of those things where, you know, you don't really listen to the noise. You don't listen to the hype. You know, I deleted social media because I don't want the hype. But, you know, it's still something on your mind. In the yeah. back of your mind, you know, you can't get away from it. You can't – but, you know, you just have to keep pressing forward and improve yourself. Jordan Davis, uh, Georgia nose tackle. Is this the best defense in the country? I can't say right now. Okay. But – They were last year. We're definitely promising. Yeah. <laughs> definitely <laughs> it's promising. definitely promising. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me ask you this, man. I, I've sat in your seat um, on the basketball side of it before, and I came into it definitely with team goals like you have, but individually. You know, you, you, you chose to come back. You know what I mean? You, you had a lot of things in front of you. Yeah. What's something individually, you know, uh, you know that can you, you can accomplish for yourself but still stay within the team? I just want to make sure I'm the best player that I can be, mm -hmm. you know, in any aspect, um, whether that's mentally, physically. I just want to make sure that I'm the best that I can be. And, you know, I don't want to end this season with regrets mm -hmm. considering that this may very well be my last season. Right. And I just don't want to have any regrets when it's all said and done. That's it. Playing nose tackle, I mean, you got to be an unselfish guy, right? Definitely. Like, uh, h how challenging is it to play in the trenches in the SEC right there and try to keep the offensive linemen off the linebackers so they can go make plays? I always call the SEC uh, NFLU because yeah. it's like, you know, the step below. But um, it's definitely the trench. The trenches in the SEC is probably probably the best competition you're going to go against at this yeah. level. And, um, you know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the experience. And, you know, you, you know, most of us, you know, we're, we're cool outside of games, you know. Um, but, you know, you just want to get that experience because you may very well be playing against or with the people at the next level that no you're question. going against. So, yeah, you know, it's just one of those things that you, like, take in consideration and take, you know, you have gratitude for that you're able to be in this position. Love it. Love it. Who's the best offensive lineman that you've gone against, like interior offensive line? Or, or who gives you the most trouble? Like, who do you enjoy going against? Like, is there one guy that kind of uh -oh. stands out in your career at Georgia? I would say Solomon Kinley. Okay. Oh. From previous years. Yeah. But um, what was it about him? Um, him and Andrew. That was one of the things that, like, when I first got on campus, I got double teamed by them. <laughs> and that was one of the things I'm like, all right, like, I got to hold up. Like yeah, because you're getting double teamed all the time. Yeah, I get double teamed all the time. But with them coming together, it's kind of hard. And it was one of those things as a freshman, I was like, all right, that's one thing I need to work on. So right. every day, you know, I never shot away from it. I always ran to it. And, um, you know, it made me a better player. You know, uh, you know, you experience – you practice with them every day. You only get one game a week. So – you know, when you have that experience every day, you know, you get better and better. And, the iron, like, the saying goes, iron sharpens iron. So, yeah. yeah. We've asked a, a bunch of the players, you know, yesterday and today that have come through, biggest trash-talking team in the SEC. And we've had some crazy answers. I'm not going to lie. Like, like the first answer we got was Missouri. Yeah. Who, who would have thought, yeah. right? Uh, so Stingley from LSU said Missouri. Yeah, he mm. said Missouri. <laughs> so South Carolina guy said Tennessee. Really? Well, what do you think? Uh, 
Honestly, I can't. I can't really say for sure. You know, I'm. That means it's you guys. Nah, <laughs> you can't talk to nah. You. I'm usually, I'm usually the one peeling my teammates off people. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 me personally, I don't talk trash. You know, I'm all about business. And yeah. you know, at the end of the day, it's a game. You yeah. know, it's, football is meant to be a game. So you know, that's how I treat it. You know what, Jordan? You're a very humble guy. Tell me what drives you though. Like, what, what makes you get up in the morning and go get it? My mom and my yeah. brothers. I have yeah. a tattoo. It's called Feed the Pack, and there's three wolves, and that all represents my family. And there's a big wolf on the top, and I can see myself as it. But um, that's one of those things that I wake up, and, you know, the times I'm like, dang, I really don't want to get up right now. I don't really want to practice. I don't really want to get out for workouts because, you know, it's hard. It's, yeah. a, it's a long – it's a grind, you no know. You, we're not superhumans, you know, but – this is one of those things that get me out of bed. And also, my dog. My dog gets me out of bed. Yeah. Like, literally and figuratively. What kind uh, of dog you got? I have a pit bull. All right. Yeah. Because, okay. like. You better get out of bed. Yeah. What is her name? She, or what's her, her name? Her name is Izzy. Oh. But she wakes up, like, 8 o'clock on the dot. Like, no matter what. <laughs> and, like. Like, let's go, Dad. Yeah, like, yeah. I have to get up. I'm like, man. I'm like, man. But. He's like, he has a dog. You had a python. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I love about that. Yeah, everybody <laughs> has a, like, before I got Izzy, I had a, I had a leopard gecko. I had a leopard See? gecko, but, you, you know, I, 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 I always had an affinity for animals. And, um, you know, it's just it's just nice having those people that motivate you. And, um, you know, my dog motivates me little as she knows. But, yeah. you know. I don't even think she knows what I do. Right. I, leave, I leave the house. She's like, all right, where's yeah. that? But, <laughs> but, you know, it's just one of those things that keep me moving, and, you know, because the game is bigger than myself, right. and I'm doing it for people that's not myself. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole reason why I play this game is to make sure that I set a foundation for them. All right, so. man. Well, hey, that's good, good time, luck bro. this year. Uh, obviously, we'll be watching you, and uh, good, we'll see you in the league here Thank in you, while. thank you. Appreciate right. that, Jordan. Thank you. All, all right, there's yep. Jordan Davis, uh, Georgia defensive tackle. Um, Man, what a, what a great dude. Uh, more 3HL coming up. Stay tuned. 104.5 The Zone.